Hey guys, welcome back. I am coming on to do my second layout with my She's Crafty Kits where I am playing along with Christie's Beautiful Life 30 Days of Sketches Series 13 that is done and gone. I just did not get to it. So I've got day two and that's a designer. And I actually printed these for the first time. It's very exciting. So let's see what we have to work with. Oh, and guys, I may be going all over to... Um, to voice over during this video because I'm crafting along with friends today and you know when people pop into chat on my zoom that's what I'll be doing so I did put together this kit and I do have kit videos I've got these papers here right and when I put these kits together I put them together with these are the ones that I intend to use but anything can change I've got this great piece here from simple stories some p13 stickers some of these from Uniquely Creative that are okay, but not perfect. But I'm hoping to just be able to get a couple little bits and pieces used, right? Then I have this photo here of my daughter and her fiance, and they were in Colorado doing a nice little hike. Now, along with that, I've got sequins. I've got some woodcuts, the cutest little fabric -y mushrooms, some enamel dots, and some flare. And then from yesterday's layout that I did, or, you know, the, I don't know if it'll be yesterday to you guys, but you know, the last layout I did, I've got a couple of pieces left over to start. I just have my little clear tray here and I have these pieces here. So I'll have plenty to draw from and I'm pretty darn excited about it. Now, my big rule is that I wanted to use flare. So this time I do have flare. If I can get another one in, I will totally bring it in. But how great. I'll be able to use up a package. All right, let's look at this sketch for now. There's a nice block here. Torn bits here and here. We've got a little something coming over here if I vibe that. Photo block with a title subtitle. And another block up here. Now I have one photo. So we're going to make some blocks of something. Don't know what they are yet. <laughs> we'll get there. So I should get out another one of these bins that I like to use for when I like to kind of rifle through this stuff. It is a bit of a standard practice I do. So let me get out one of my bins. Pull it down, I'm across the room. And I like to have the bin of what I've included. And then if I do have a package of something, I definitely do better if I can rifle through it. So let's do that. Now, let's just get to the design. I need to get a scrap of white cardstock, and I always have some from Cut Files, and I'll map my photo to start. No problem there. And then, let's see. These will come later. These are great for layering bits. So we gotta get ourselves situated and organized. So, to start, this is like my sturdy gertie, so that can be my background. And then I have these two, so it would be kind, it would have been nice to be able to use that as is, but it might be kind of cool to have a look, couple of pieces. Ooh, this looks kind of like topography, and that might actually be really cool with my Colorado pictures. So, absolutely great. This is going to work out. So, let me cut off branding strips. And then we just need to do a trim a view on them. And then, guys, this is a new Tim Holtz print, uh, trimmer. I did get it from scrapbook.com, and I really like it. I do, I do. Oh, this one has all kinds of wordy bits. So we can hold on to that. And then, you know, of course, we can decide if we want to keep it after that. But those might be useful. Act normal, real life, funny story. Such a useful thing. And that's from, that one's from Uniquely Creative. I love when you get stuff like that. Okay. So then we have this 49 a market piece, our sturdy, sturdy paper. Come on. There we go. And, oh, look at that. There's even wordy bits on there. Who knew? Who knew? That's fun. Okay. So the next thing to do is we have this. Is this supposed to, yeah, most of the writing's like this. And then according to our little sitch here, 
wondering if I should zoom in. Somebody asked me to show more, so I'm trying to do that. So we've got this piece up top. Oh, this goes like, oh. This goes up top. Okay, somebody is popping in to my Zoom. So I'm gonna go to voiceover now and we'll just go through this. So I've pretty much done my homework at this point. I went ahead and uh, colored in my wood pieces. I've got some flare on there. I had the two from the kit, as you know. And then I brought in the one piece from Scrap and Happy Studio. It's a super gorgeous canvas flare and it's quite large and it's giving me a nice little pop of white. Uh, I used Distress Oxides to color up my wood pieces and I matted my photo a number of times. I used um, all of the papers except for that kind of terracotta colored one that we had. So that works. Now you saw me glob up a bunch of glue and what I am doing is going ahead and um, popping some sequins on top of the glue and making a nice little sequin pile. It's just a decorative element inside that wood piece. I also back the wood piece with some of that mushroom paper and I use mushroom paper because I use that same paper to back my, um, to back my photo. Now it's a bit wintry in this photo, but you know, Colorado does the thing where you have snow and then you have moderate temperatures. Just depends on where you are. So I thought I would go with it. Now, I use the Simple Stories title up top for Moments and Together. Those are two separate pieces. And I'm taking a look to see if there's any other bits that would work to help tell this story. Uh, due to the fact that this is pretty early on in using these kits, I don't have lots and lots of pieces from previous kits to add on. So I'm going to do my very best to use what I have on hand and layer it all up. Uh, you see, I think those are, gosh, who made those little tiny flares? They were, um, I think they were Project Life Flare, but I was glad to use up that package. Finally, I've had it kicking around for a couple of years. So that's a big win. Uh, is there anything else to tell you to catch you up? I did go ahead and use, um, all three of those little fabric-y mushrooms, I like the texture of that. And I still do have to bend up the torn pieces that I've done to give us just a little bit more texture and dimension. But at this point, I'm trying to use anything that I have on hand to, I don't know, I, you know, I already said tell my story, but it just builds it out a bit. I think I only end up using one of these P13 stickers. You know, I love wordy bit stickers, but I have had the hardest time finding places to put these. Then I'm like, nope, I guess I'm gonna wait until the next time. It's a funny thing because I love the color palette. It just did not, I guess, work with this whole uh, vibe that I have going, trying to have a bit of a um, diagonal. I look at these film strips because I have a nice size bin of them and I'm like, nope, the colors didn't work for that either. So at this point, I'm gonna start looking through other bits, grab in um, my any extra sequins as well as enamel dots. Here's where I'm doing a little, a little bit of a bend on this and then I'm just gonna have some still shots for you guys. So that's what I have for this layout. I did do nice little cluster kind of making them a little bit more chonky with the sequins and enamel dots. But that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys ever so soon with another video. Bye for now, friends.